I know you're dying to find out, in spite of not feeling it, in spite of all the rocky stuff that happened, all the turbulence of February, did I meet my goals? If you want to find out, keep watching. Hi there, and thanks for watching. I'm Christiana, and my channel is The Well-Behaved Wallet. I am here to tell you how I did with my February goals. So I will post my goals video below uh, that I made at the start of the month, and I will run through right now the goals that I had um, set there and let you know how I did. So I write them in my planner, and the seven goals that I had for the month of February are as follows. And I try to break them up into areas of self-care, business, and personal development, and I'm going to change that up a little bit in March, but more to come on that. So the seven goals that I had for February were as follows. Uh, I wanted to walk at least 70 miles this month. It was a big goal, but I've kind of been working that into my routine, and that's been working really, really well. So did I meet that goal? The answer is yes, I did. Actually, I'm about to go and get in my last four miles, and after those are finished, I will have walked 71 miles in the month of February. So I definitely definitely met that goal. Goal number two was five minutes of self-care timeout per day. And did I make that? Yes. Did it look exactly as I thought it would look? No. So I had that big, if you remember the, uh, the Theracane that I was using to kind of like give myself a massage <laughs> on the cheap. Um, and I, I had thought that I would use that for five minutes a night and that, that did not happen. Um, but the idea that I had that sort of activated in my mind that I would be taking care of myself for at least five minutes a day did end up working out. And what that looked like was I discovered I take a bath pretty much every night and that takes at least um at least five minutes and that's kind of my time out time and I really look forward to that time I do it after I walk um in the evening and it really has been making me feel cared for so that's a plus and I did make that goal um so number goal number three was to journal in my gratitude journal every day and I did end up doing that that's a habit that I'd started last year and have really been able to kept up to keep up I just list five things that I'm grateful for every day and sometimes it's just a word it usually is just a word um but it helps me to um, appreciate the things in my life, not gratitude, appreciate, excuse me. I, um, that's something that I'm trying to update in my vocabulary to say appreciation rather than gratitude. So I did keep up with that. Um, number four, goal number four. So these next three are to do, well, next four are to do with, uh, business. And goal number four was in regard to YouTube and to keep posting, which I did. So thank you again to everyone who had, um, who had left comments in my video yesterday. Yesterday was kind of like the breaking point. Um, yesterday was not the, the best day because I feel like kind of things that had been happening over the past three months kind of all came crashing down and I, I felt them all um, yesterday. So thank you to everyone who left a, a really kind comment. Um, that was me sort of dealing with it. So I did keep up posting and Again, thank you for watching. Um, so goal number five was to publish four articles on my website. That did not happen. And I have no one to blame, no excuses, um, no one to blame but myself. I did start drafting those articles, but here's the thing with writing, and I know that um, anyone who's done any, any writing or who's ever written a term paper knows that it takes energy um, and discipline and focus to really get it done well and I have not been putting that level of effort into my website blog content lately so that did not happen um, I have not finished yet one article I'm hoping to change that I'm hoping to sit down and do that tonight to be honest I don't I'm not super optimistic because I also would like to do my numbers for the business tonight um, so we'll see how that goes. I just haven't been making it a priority. I feel like with all the other things on the horizon, and that just kind of, that one kind of fell off. So no, I did not write and publish four articles. Um, do better. <laughs> I'm hoping to do better. Um, goal number six was to list at least 200 items. Did I do that? No. Did I come very close? Uh, kind of. <laughs> um, did I make some other improvements and updates in the business structure that will serve me in the long term? Absolutely. Um, but when it came to just listing, I did not make my 200 listing goal ugh, at all. Um, I think I got to, I haven't actually counted, I think I got to maybe 120. Um, and in my store, I'm up to 430 something listings. So it's slow going there. If you um, remember, I showed part of my basement in that clip. Um, that's a project. 
Um, it's better. It's not in showable form. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a project. Um, but it is easier to maneuver down there and I uncovered a lot of inventory. So that's definitely a positive, but I did not make my 200 listing item goal, a uh, 200 items listed goal. Um, I got about halfway there. Um, and then my seventh goal, my last goal was to explore at least 10 new sources of inventory. Um, I did, I explored one. So I give myself a 10%, 10 out of 100 for that, um, which is better than nothing. Still not where I want it to be, but close. Uh, because I'll tell you why. <laughs> Sorry, so this is the exciting thing. I actually got all my, I mentioned this in my side hustle Saturday, but I got all my documents together to be able to um, purchase as a wholesaler. So that's huge. Like I got my, my resale certificate um, documents together. So that was huge. So I am eligible to purchase um, from wholesale inventory source, which is a step in the right direction, slowly but surely. Um, so then I explored one inventory source and I applied to be um, part of their program and I was accepted actually on the 25th. So that's huge. Um, so that was a positive um, event that happened in regard to inventory. Did I make that goal? No. Did I come close? Yes. Um, so if we're doing sort of binary yes or no, the answer would be no. Um, but am I moving in the right direction? Absolutely. So that is where I am with my goals for February. Um, I hope to be back tomorrow with a budget preview, uh, February wrap up and budget preview. Um, that's the plan. And I also wanted to show you how I keep track of stuff in my planner because I love seeing how people keep track of their stuff. So I figured I'd show you mine. Um, this is my calendar spread for the month of February. And you can see, for example, I would write down... Um, the amount, like if I walked for here, I walked two miles and I have that much and 67 more miles to go. And that's how I keep track of my mileage. I also kind of like to highlight things that happened. For example, this is the day that I did my, um, that I hit a certain goal on YouTube. Um, and this is where I got my postal address and this is where I filed my certificate of formation for the business. So that's kind of, kind of do retroactive planning that helps me look at February and say, you know what, in spite of all the not so great stuff that went down. There's still some great stuff that did happen. So um, there is that. And that is my, that's where I am at the end of February. Couldn't have planned it, but hey, this is where we are. And there's a lot of good mixed in there too. So that is where I am on February 28th um, and where I am in regard to my goals. I hope to be back on, uh, uh, so if I'm doing budget tomorrow, probably on Sunday with my March goals and I'm going to change up the format a little bit. I'm going to start doing them um, in the in three areas, in the areas of work, rest, and play. And I will set uh, two to three goals for each area, uh, making a triangle, work, rest, play. So that's how I'm going to be doing my goals for March. And I look forward to sharing them with you. So thank you again for watching and for all your support. You are, you are the greatest watchers ever. And I feel so, um, fortunate to have someone like you watching my channel. So thank you so much. And I hope that you keep watching. Bye.